Hello dear, welcome to Umid Private High School online class. You know dear students, in previous class we ex explained one derived quantity which is uh, volume of liquids, right? But today we talk about one very important quantity which is mass and it is, you know, it is one fundamental quantity. Okay. Let's define the mass. Mass is defined as the amount of matter in an object. Okay, amount of matter in an object. For example, if we say the mass of book, we are talking about the amount of paper which is present in that book. The magnitude or the grams of paper. Okay, how many grams of paper are there in that book? That is the mass of book, for example. Right? And the unit of mass is kilogram in SI system, right? Okay, mass is uh, measured by this instrument. You know, this instrument is known as equal arm balance, right? Using equal arm balance, we measure mass of different objects. For example, apple. How many kilogram of apple? Or, okay, uh, or how many kilogram of rice? We use these kind of instruments but today we have digital balances also um, generally we use digital balances okay so here important thing is that there are different units for mass okay you see here there are different units for example kilogram hectogram decagram gram dc gram centigram and milligram okay all these are the units of mass even there are larger units than these for example tone tone is 1000 kilogram that is also one unit of mass or for example in our country which is very famous seer for example one seer two seer seer also unit of mass but all these are not the SI unit of mass SI unit of mass is kilogram only okay we should remember SI unit of mass is kilogram Okay, you see here, gram, decagram, hectogram, and kilogram. Kilogram means 1000 gram. Hectogram means 100 gram. Decagram means 10 grams. Okay, now very small units here. DC gram, for example, 0 0.1 gram. Okay, centigram, 0 0.01 gram. Okay, milligram, 0 0.001 grams. Very small unit okay so here important thing is that how we can convert these units to each other for example how we can convert kilogram into decagram decigram okay or hectogram into milligram or centigram into decagram how we can convert it we just again we divide by 10 or we multiply by 10 okay if we want to convert large unit into small unit then we just multiply by 10 each step okay but if we try to convert small unit into large unit then we divide by 10 okay now here uh, let's solve some example uh, to make it more clear see example a one centimeter cube copper block has a mass of 89 gram Find the mass of 10 centimeter cube of copper in terms of milligram and uh, kilogram. Okay, you see here, uh, mass of 1 centimeter cube copper is given as 89 gram. Okay, you see here, let me solve it. If 1 centimeter, if 1 centimeter cube copper has a mass of 89 kilogram. Uh, 89 gram, right? If the mass is 89 gram, then 10 centimeter cube of copper will be how many grams? You see, then 10 centimeter cube of copper will be how much? Okay, x. We don't know. From here, x will be equal to obviously uh, cross product. This way we multiply. Okay, so 10 
into you see 10 into 89 divided by 1 will be 890 890 grams okay now we need to convert this quantity into milligram and kilogram okay first of all let me convert it into milligram okay which is very small unit gram to milligram now let's see the steps here in the table see we want to convert gram gram into milligram we want to convert this gram into milligram how many steps are there one one step another step another step so each step we take 10 okay in each step we take 10 if we take 10 10 here 10 here and 10 here means 10 times 10 times 10,000 so what do we do here first part uh, this part milligram 890 into 10 into 10 into 10 unit is milligram okay here 890,000 milligram 890 890,000 milligram okay this is first part now we solve second part okay. second part we need to convert into kilogram this quantity we need to convert into kilogram now again let's see the table you see we want to convert gram grams into kilogram again let's see the steps one step second step third step three steps are there 10 10 10 but here we want to convert small unit into large unit then what do we do divide okay then we divide it okay then second part is 890 divided by how much 10 into 10 into 10 now unit is kilogram okay from here 10 with 10 cancel 10 10 cancel 89 divided by 100 89 divided by 100 will be 0 0.89 kilogram okay 0 point, 0 0.89 kilogram okay this is how we convert the units of mass to each other okay let's continue okay thank you so much dear students it's enough for today in the next session we will talk about time